couple of messages on the uh, messages on the ceasefire text line 601-879-4395 if you want to be a part of the conversation uh alex asks a question will state regret its post-game behavior later talk to me a little bit about this because we, we've got a clip to play from you and it's from the southern miss side of things and that has generated a ton of chatter among other things online what was it though that Mississippi State did that people found to be so egregious post game? The unpardonable sin of celebrating a victory. Can you believe it? Can you believe they didn't just get on the bus and drive right back to Starkville and frown the whole way? They were excited after they won the game. They came out of the dugout and celebrated a little bit. I mean, I personally think you know, jail time might be in in, in consideration here. I, if if not more, more capital punishment. I can't well, get over the fact that a team celebrated after a win. Disgusting behavior. There were Southern Miss people who said that uh, the celebration was perhaps a little bit over the top, and one player for the University of Southern Mississippi specifically took exception, and that player is Billy Butler. This is what Billy Butler had to say after the game. Um, th- this is like one of the reasons why I wanted to get out of my comfort zone, enter the portal, play some real good baseball, and uh, coming to Southern Miss, I know that there's a target on our backs, um, and everyone wants to beat us. And uh, like you saw them celebrating after the game, like they're they're doing this, like showing state and stuff. Like they think it's the World Series because you know how it is; they're getting beat by mid-major teams all year. Um, but we'll remember that. We'll, we'll be seeing them uh, later in the year, I think. Um, but we'll see. You know. So that was Billy Butler for Southern Miss after the game. He had a two-for-four night, scored a run, drove in a run. The left fielder batting in the four-hole last night for the Golden Eagles. He says he thinks we will see them later. We will remember that. If, unless there's a scheduling quirk that I'm not aware of, that would mean a meeting in the postseason um, Mm. in a regional in Starkville, Hattiesburg, or perhaps somewhere else. Uh, if they were to meet again, or perhaps a Super Regional if both teams advanced and the Stars aligned just right, or I suppose perhaps in Omaha if the Stars really lined uh, properly, correctly. I mean, well, I, I'm just giving you the possibilities because the yeah. two teams are not scheduled to play again. They're not going to play in the same conference tournament. So if they were to meet again, it means a Regional, a Super Regional, or Omaha, unless there's a mm-hmm. game that's scheduled that, you know, there's just a makeup that needs to be played. Yeah, pretty sure. Southern Miss doesn't want to see any Mississippi teams in postseason play. Doesn't doesn't tend to end well for them. So when they, that's when those two teams where you're going to go. That's where you're going to go. With uh, hey, Cloverleaf Mall, get ready to clip. The Super Bowl, it's not even the Birmingham Bowl, Chief. Talk about a mid-major team. That's what you are. And beating Southern Miss is just something that you expect to do at Mississippi State. And the series record on in baseball will certainly bear that out for me. Clip it. Again, there, there's kind of a lot to unpack. Yeah, I mean, if you really want to, if you really want to pick apart what Billy Butler said after the game last night, there's there's a fair amount there. Hey, now don't roll your eyes. There's this, a lot. This there. deserves. Well, um, this is just one of those things. This is something that losers say. That when they they drop out the whole, well, it it was their Super Bowl. What that means is we didn't play hard enough. That's why we lost. We didn't play hard. That's what you just said. I mean, it drives me crazy, this whole, that was their Super Bowl thing. So you're saying that that one team wanted to win more than the other? You You didn't hit the field wanting to win at the maximum potential of wanting to win? It was just, ah, if we lose, we lose. I don't. I don't think that was the case at all. Well, look. I mean, I, I mean, I got no problem with what Billy Butler said after the game. I'm not sure why he said it. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But I have no issue with somebody providing a half an hour's worth of content for at us least. in the middle of February. I, I have or early March. I have zero issue with that. Um. But there are some things that are worth exploring there a little bit. Um, this is why I came to Southern Miss to play big time baseball. This is a place where you're going to have a target on your back. Okay. 
They've been oh, to seven man. consecutive postseasons in, in I, super I regionals and, that. and all that. Yeah, you if if you want to play hmm. high level baseball, Southern Miss is a place that you go so, play high level. Southern baseball. Miss plays high level baseball. Absolutely, they do. Um, been in what back to back super regionals? Yeah, saw them celebrating over there, showing us, and it, it was almost like I, I couldn't tell because the the camera shot shoulder up, and it was almost like he was doing what is it like the the, the discount double check thing, showing us their state or like uh, low what I don't year even know. is it but I, I i thought that was kind of like the motion he was giving as he was but it was like they were you know popping their jersey They're that said popping state their jerseys something. discount double check it's like it's it's 2015 still well i mean i certainly wasn't going to name the company that had that anyway but regardless yeah. um i never understand Good time to invoke Dominic Ficicello's name. I never understand why teams take umbrage with the way other teams celebrate. It feels like there should just be a, ah, hey, you do you. You know, if, if you want to be the guy that celebrates in the end zone, celebrate in the end zone. If you want to be the guy that hands the ball to the referee and acts like he's been there before, that was the old cliche, right? That's what our coaches in junior high and high school said. You score a touchdown, give the ball to the referee, and act like you've been there before. If, if that's who you want to be, that's fine. But if we're upset about popping jerseys and celebrating after a game, I certainly hope we're not shooting bows and arrows or doing a salsa dance standing on second base after a double. And I have no idea. I have no idea if Billy Butler has anything or any of his teammates do when they get to second base after a double. for Like if there's a little shimmy, I don't want to hear anything about what a team does after the game, if we have in-game celebrations. I don't want to hear from Dominic Ficticello that Ole Miss flips their bat too much when Arkansas also flips bats after home runs. Right? I don't need a double standard. In fact, I don't care what you think, whoever you is, big old collective you, about the other team. You do you. Let them do them. And if you don't like what they do, then don't give up a home run. Don't lose a game. Don't give up a double. Strike him out instead of giving up a base hit. You don't like his end zone dance? Cover him better. You don't like the celebration in the end zone? Sack the quarterback instead of letting him stand back there with plenty of time to throw it to an open receiver. You don't want me to celebrate? Stop it. But on the flip side... If you celebrate, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. So that part of it doesn't really make sense. Um, What about the piece of it where we're talking about uh, they're out there getting beat by mid-majors all season long anyway? That So so that is what stood out to me as uh, as a self-own is the phrase that I'm going to use. It's a self-own. And I thought that was the most significant swipe he took yeah. in his – Post game comments, and and we have a text by the way. It says uh, he's a kid for crying out loud. Uh, he's a fifth year senior. He's in his twenties. Twenty year olds aren't kids, man. He'll be twenty. He'll be twenty four in June. It, it, that, that's not a kid. Uh, but I, I I'm with you. I, I like the spice. I like it, and and I, I mean this complimentary. The the arrogance and, and and good players have that level of arrogance of, oh you got me now. Well we'll wait till I get a chance at you again. I'm gonna beat you next time. I like that. That's a good mentality to have. As, as a coach, I like that my player out here is saying, oh, they celebrated? Oh, just wait until I get to see you again. I like that. That's a good thing. But you have a loss to Nichols. You have a loss to Marist. You have a loss to Missouri State. Those are mid-majors that you have lost to, one. But two, if Mississippi State is out here losing to mid-majors, as you say, and what does that make you after they beat you? That's kind of a cell phone there if you think about it. You are telling you, you are talking bad about yourself when they're over here losing to mid majors. They stink, but they they beat you though. So what does that make you? Yeah. And Southern Miss clearly is not mind. a quote unquote mid major baseball program either, but you you are talking down about yourself when you when you talk like that. I don't mind smack talk. I don't mind it. If you, if you win, especially when you win, 
And if you lose and you want to you want to say something like, yeah, well, you know, it was a tough loss, but you know, we'll see who finishes the season in May and who finishes the season in June, because that's a very fair statement you can make for Mississippi State and Southern Miss, especially these past two years. I can live with that one. But when you throw stuff like it's their Super Bowl, Mississippi State's going to play the national champion, the defending national champions in two weeks. All right, that's the Super Bowl. They're going to play Ole Miss in April. That's a Super Bowl. A midweek game against Southern Miss is not Mississippi State Super Bowl. A team that has won a national title, Mississippi State, that that that's not their Super Bowl. So that's just it's just a bad. It's just not a good comment. It's not good smack talk. Uh, some of the messages on the ceasefire text. I mean, we're we're getting a little bit of like, who cares? Um, Bubba and Starkville, who cares? It was a good game. Both teams played hard. We all know State loves to showboat. USM lost a game they should have won. Shut your mouth and get on the bus. Uh, yeah, what fun is that? Uh, it's their job to stop us. <laughs> Quote Steve Spurrier. That's from James <laughs> in Hattiesburg. Um, bu- 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 people, uh, let's see here. He's a kid for crying out loud. Get over it. I, we're not. We, we have nothing to get over. We're, we are discussing something that happened in the state of Mississippi in a sport that we all love last night. We, we are not going to spend days on this. We're just spending a few minutes on it because it's kind of fun, actually. Uh, let's not put too much stock into an emotional college athlete and what he said immediately after a loss. That's from Ben and Brandon. Yeah, not putting any stock in it. I have zero judgment one way or the other toward Billy Butler. I am, I am the most innocent of bystanders in this conversation, and I'm amused by the entire thing. Um, Mississippi State won't even make it to a regional, just like last year. Can't wait to hear what y'all talk about when they begin to lose all their SEC series. We'll talk about them losing SEC series if that happens. Yeah. I've been talking about it for the past month, about how I I don't like this team, and I don't think it's going to go very far. Uh, Let's see here. They they beat USM last year and finished second to last in the West. It, It doesn't mean anything. With all the advantages they have, it really is a bad look, boasting and acting like they did last night. Why does State do that? I'd be embarrassed. I I think it's as simple. It's baseball. This isn't football. Yeah, the, the, I think there are two things here. One, it is a team that plays together, and they won a game, and they had fun. And two... Yes, I understand that Mississippi State is three years removed from a national championship. But more recently, they've been pretty bad in baseball. The last two seasons have been bad. And you got a lot of players that are on this Mississippi State team that have been on the last two Mississippi State teams that have not been good and have missed the SEC tournament. Never mind the NCAA tournament, the SEC tournament. And they're having fun again because they're playing good baseball. It was not an offensive onslaught. Five runs on, what, seven hits? Both teams played the game clean defensively. They just won a game and had fun. In the same way, in the exact same way, that if Southern Miss had gotten a leadoff walk in the bottom of the ninth inning, trailing five to four, and it hit a walk-off home run, how do you think Southern Miss would have reacted? They would have celebrated. They would have had fun. They would have enjoyed the spoils of winning. 